And now to the politics of terror and the race for president tonight. Both candidates responding and swiftly, but with very different approaches. And look at these numbers tonight, the most recent polling on who Americans trust to handle terrorism. Hillary Clinton, 48 percent. Donald Trump, 45, a virtual tie. And who would be the better commander in chief? Clinton, 50, Trump, 45, again within the margin of error. So tonight, we let both of their approaches on this play out, and you decide. Here's ABC's Tom Yamas from Florida tonight. Tonight, Donald Trump predicting cushy treatment for the suspect in the bomb attack. Today, we have caught this evil thug. He will be given a fully modern and updated hospital room. And he'll probably even have room service, knowing the way our country is. On the night of the New York explosion, Trump was quick to declare it a bombing before all the facts were in. I must tell you that just before I got off the plane, a bomb went off in New York, and nobody knows exactly what's going on. Today, he congratulated himself for being ahead of the game. I should be a newscaster because I called it before the news. But what, what I said was exactly correct. And everybody says while he was right, he called it too soon. Okay, give me a break. Trump says the attack highlights a broken immigration system. In many cases, this is cancer from within. Nobody really knows who it is, yeah, right. who, what's okay. happening. They're plotting. They well, keep plotting. He's calling once again for increased profiling. Our local police, they know who a lot of these people are. They're afraid to do anything about it because they, they don't want to be accused of, uh, of uh, profiling and they don't want to be accused of all sorts of things. Do we have a choice? When the bomb went off Saturday night, Hillary Clinton addressed reporters on her plane, also calling it a bombing before officials did. I think it's uh, always uh, wiser to wait until you have uh, information before uh, making conclusions. Clinton says Trump's words are a recruiting tool for ISIS. That the kinds of rhetoric and language that Mr. Trump has used is giving aid and comfort to our adversaries. And Clinton returning to the issue of temperament. This is a fast-moving situation and a sobering reminder that we need steady leadership in a dangerous world. So let's get right to Tom Yamas live in Florida with us tonight. And Tom, that first debate now one week away. The stakes could not be higher. And tonight we're learning the key topics. That's right. The Commission on Presidential Debates has released the topics for the first debate. There'll be America's direction, achieving prosperity and securing America. We do know that Hillary Clinton is deep in her debate prep. Donald Trump is choosing to prepare over this coming weekend. David. Tom Yamas with us again tonight. Tom, thanks.